Some of the most world-changing battles and conflicts of World War II took place throughout Micronesia, the Philippine Sea, and the Mariana Islands. In the 1930s, the Navy operated a top-secret radio station here on Nimitz Hill at Libugon. The mission? To intercept Japanese communication and break the secret codes. The station was part of Operation Magic and one of five similar stations located in Hawaii, Puget Sound, Washington, the Philippines, and Shanghai, China. On Guam, it was known as Station B, Libugon Hill. The information was collected, then forwarded to Washington, D.C. in the late 1930s, sometimes in a locked box aboard the Pan American China Clipper. By late 1941, the traffic began to heat up, and one of the messages intercepted indicated that Japan was severing diplomatic ties with the United States. Then, at 4.30 a.m. on December 8, 1941, the message that Pearl Harbor, Hawaii was being bombed. The radio man instantly informed the governor in Aganya, severed all phone communication, burned records, and destroyed equipment, including three towers. All eight radio men were later captured and spent their entire war in Japanese prison camps. Throughout the war, none of them ever indicated what had gone on here, or that the radio station had even existed. Those early intercepts and code breaking provided a critical advantage to American war efforts. An example is, an American submarine sank a thousand or so Japanese merchant ships because they knew the Japanese convoy locations. Join us as we walk through the history of a war that changed the world 75 years ago. In the coming months, we will honor and pay tribute to those who lived and suffered through the war and those who died. We will hear stories of bravery and resilience and of the legacy that has come from it. <laughs>